Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm tackling a bit of my kitchen. There's like always this drawer that I, it is so awkward and there's just random cooking things in it, but like they're all odd shapes and designs and whatever else. And there's even a ton of stuff I don't even use in there and I am ready to weed it out and make it look pretty. So let's take a look at this drawer and see what we got. Well, I usually keep this in a jar on top of my counter here and it's usually in this space, but, and I'm washing it now, but seriously, sometimes it's nice to just have more of like a free, like a clutterless space. So eventually I would like to get all these to be in the drawer that this goes in. So let's tackle this, see look. Are you cringing yet? Look at all this stuff. It's just every, just random stuff. I, I'm like, a, I'm a terrible baker, but like this belonged to like one of my great grandmothers. Like, so I feel like I can't get rid of it. Like I just, oh, and apparently there's some schmutz there on the side. Don't look at that. Um, but you know, this is like for grilling when we do pulled pork, there's all sorts of shenanigans. So need to figure this out. Guys, here is the craziness that was all in that drawer. Isn't that amazing? Like how all this stuff can just fit in there. Look, so there's definitely some things that don't belong in here. Like some, I think this is like a beer can lid things. I don't even know. Like this, I think I was given this like as a Christmas gift for like taking your herbs off of, I don't even know. So, but like, you know, we got like a sushi rolling kit up there. These are like extensions for machines, like instant pot and like a griddle. And I think I've had this for years and I've never, ever used it. Like it's a little tarnished from the silver and stuff, but yeah. So I think that might be a donate. Um, we won like a couple raffles and stuff. So we got like extra baking, measuring cups and stuff like that, you know, like instant pot things. I think I'm probably going to donate those and get rid of them, but man, oh man, hopefully this will help to clear the chaos the process. But basically things that I'm thinking or wanting to keep are going to stay on the blankets. So far, this is what I'm getting rid of. Like my garlic press, seriously, I never, I was by the Chapman's garlic. So I, I just don't use this. Um, you know, I don't do canning anymore, so that's going away. And I don't make pastry, so that's going away. And like some serving utensils. I don't know, these were like dollar store. I don't, I don't even know. So like, that's gonna get, I am, think, I am thinking about getting rid of this as well because I just, I don't need two, and this is like a lot older. It's actually kind of falling apart. So even though it's been handed down, sometimes you just have to get rid of stuff and you know, you can still hang on to the memories, but you don't need to hang on to the stuff. So that's what I'm thinking. So we're gonna carry on here and then see about getting those things in here as well to create more counter space. So, okay. Okay friends, so I went through this drawer weeded everything out things that i i just don't use and there's no point in keeping stuff if you're not going to use it even if it's got some sentimental value i feel like there's no point in storing it and keeping clutter and a bunch of stuff in your house if it's not going to bring you any use or any joy so let's look at the moment here we go da, 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 da. see much better i still feel like it does look a little busy but it's a lot more manageable. So if you see like, I still keep, held on to these because I do cook and bake a lot and these extra cups are always helpful. So um, obviously we're gonna keep those for when we do grilling. We do a lot of grilling in our home. I've cut my whisks, I got my, these are the things like I don't use as often. So like my, my lemon squeeze and like the smaller little spatulas, the tongs. Um, and I got like some extension pieces like for my mixers, ice cream scoop, things like that. The wine cork thingy, yep. 
And then of course I have all of my utensils here. And I just kind of laid them in the forefront here because, um, well, that's just like, it's just easy for me to grab straight away when I'm cooking right at, um, right at the stove here. So it's good. And I, I did keep this roller because uh, I do still need to keep one on hand, right? So yeah. That's the end of that. Guys, thanks so much for watching and coming along with me on this quick little trip to organizing and cleaning my house. <laughs> so if you like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like them, please subscribe and hang out a little while longer with me. So, all right guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.